In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the area of a sector. Uh, a sector is probably, you think of it like a slice of pizza or maybe a piece of pie, but what it is is it's a fraction, it's a part of a circle. The vertex here of that sector would be at the center of the circle. And the things we need to know to find the area of a sector is we would need to know the radius. And it's helpful if we know the degree measure of the arc, which is the same as the central angle of the sector. Okay? So, to do so, we were going to really do something very similar to how we find the length of an arc. However, we're going to do so using area instead of circumference because we have a fraction of the area. So if we have a problem where the radius, let's go with 8, and the central angle is 52 degrees, we would just simply need to do 52 over 360. Because this sector, it takes up 52 degrees out of the total 360 degrees of the circle, times the area of the circle, and that's going to give us our area of the sector. So in this particular case, it's 52 divided by 360 times, I remember, area of a circle is pi r squared, so pi times 8 squared, and that's our area of the sector. So 52 over 360 times pi 8 squared. Go to the calculator. 52 times 64 divided by 360 is well, 416 over 45 times pi. You can get that as a decimal if you want. And it's approximately 29.04 units square. So to find the area of a sector, we're going to take the fraction of the area, and that fraction is found by the central angle of the sector over 360 very similar to finding the length of the arc. The only difference is, instead of multiplying by circumference for length of an arc, you multiply by the area of the circle for area of a sector. And that's how you find the area of a sector.